Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I figured I would do another prep video um, that will go along with my Disney World series if you've been following along with me. And it is a little bit of a, an unusual one. It's gonna be new in my like actual preparation, I don't know, routine, I guess you would call it. So today I'm going to pull out my stroller, which I say pull out because we have since turned to our wagon, which our wagons are not allowed in Disney World. So I've had to pull out my old stroller and um, I'm planning on trying to figure out how I want to assemble the stroller as far as the things we want to make sure is in it and like where we want it to fit smoothly so that it's easily accessible and you know all the things. So it's a little bit different because I haven't done this in the past, but I am also going on a trip where we are going to have more people in our party than we typically do. So um, I feel like it's necessary for this trip, especially because once we get to Disney World, I'm one of those people that likes to kind of like hit the ground running. And so I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to assemble it there to where it's most efficient for us. So I figured kind of having an idea ahead of time is going to be helpful. So I just pulled it out of storage. I gave it a good scrub down so that it's not like yucky from storage and our past trips and all of these other things because when I was cleaning it, I found sand from our Dustin trip in, in May last year. So now it's nice and squeaky clean, at least as clean as it's going to be. It's a nice hand-me-down stroller. So that is what it is. Um, I also pulled out where you are sitting. I have a bunch of things that I plan on having on the stroller. So let me turn you around and I will show you those things also. Okay, so I will show you this in just a moment. This is for holding bottles or sippies or, you know, basically whatever kind of kids cups you want to use. Um, if it'll unclip for me, I'm doing it with one hand, obviously. But basically you clip this part to your stroller and then, um, you put the cup or whatever, you know, sippy, bottle, whatever, in this part, which it has like a grippier material here. And then you kind of just pull this, you press this button here, and then you pull it as tight as you need it to hold the grip onto whatever cup you have. And then this clips to your stroller. So you kind of can ensure that your kid can't like take their cup and throw it. My kids are really bad about doing that, so I make sure I have this. As you can see, it's really well used. I did clean it before this, so this is just staining, but we use it a lot, like literally all the time. So highly recommend these. I will link them below, obviously, for you. This is just your run-of-the-mill stroller caddy. It is kind of falling apart, so I'm hoping that we can make it last during this trip because I really don't want to have to buy another one beforehand and then this is our diaper bag which I plan on doing a full video over it's on its own so if you're interested in that just stick around so this right here is by Petunia Picklebottom and it is a diaper clutch I've done a full video on it if you want to check that out I will try to link that above for you but basically you just unfold it here and, sorry, I'm trying to assist, assemble this nicely. So this is a changing pad. And then right here is where you put your wipes. And then you can put diapers or whatever you might need in here. And then um, you can put like an outfit in here. Obviously, I'm trying to do the dreaded one hand zip unzip situation. Okay, there we go. So it's unzipped. And so there's enough space in this to where you can have like an additional outfit in here and diapers or like if you need butt cream or whatever you might need a diaper what are those called a, a diaper spatula right so is that what it's called but anyways it's really handy I bought it with the intention of using it during the summers which I did a lot last year and then also for trips like this to where you don't want to have to bring your entire diaper bag to go to the bathroom and change a diaper you can just grab this and it'll have everything you need I find it to be really handy and helpful so I definitely plan on bringing that. So I think that's just about everything. Um, there is one more thing that I plan on grabbing, but I will do that at the end here. So let's try to get this all assembled first. Okay, y'all, so I did go ahead and assemble it. It didn't take me much time at all, 
but I do have a little bit of concern about this. So I'll come back to that in just a minute. So this stroller does have kind of a lot of storage offer. So it does come with its own cup holder that you can either move from the side to the other, depending on which way you want it. And then behind here, there is this pocket for whatever, and it's a deep pocket. So it offers a lot of storage as far as that goes. As far as this itself, I don't really care about having like storage necessarily. It's more so the cup holders because I we do have a lot of people in our party this time around. So I'm afraid of every, I don't want everybody to feel like they're going to have to carry their drinks um, because we all do get the resort mugs. And so I'm trying to just make sure that everybody has a place for their cups because it'll be me and my husband, our son, and then our daughter who will also have the sippy leash that I will show assembled in just a moment. And then my mother-in-law is also going to be tacking on with us here and there. And she's also going to have her own resort mug. So I want us to all be able to have a place to set our cups so we're not all having to carry it or, you know, like shuffle them around. So this offers a lot of storage as far as that goes. Like these are two cup holders and then we have this cup holder here. Um, so that's enough for myself, my husband and my son. And then I figured kind of in the middle here, I do plan on having like sanitary wipes and hand like baby wipes in here. And then with all that and it's assembled, like it's really flimsy right now, but I figured once we have that all assembled and all the things that we need inside of here, it'll have a little bit more structure to it. And if we need to shove her cup into here, we should be able to do so. So that's kind of my mindset here. And then there is storage. So I do plan on having like hand sanitizer in here. And then also this cup holder that comes with our stroller, it does have like netting here. So I do plan on having like hand sanitizers shoved it down into these um, just for extra uh, like extra storage and things like that. But like I said, if we needed to, I could probably shove a cup into here as well. Just however we have to make it work so that it's functional. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't hang evenly because this cup holder is here. And I guess I could probably try to drop it down a little bit, but I'm afraid of it not getting, I don't know. I'm going to try that actually. I'm going to try to drop these down and see if it'll hang lower, um, but still be functional. One second. Let me try that real quick. Okay. So I did try it out the way that I was talking about trying it and it might work. The only thing is, is that there's not as much security to support the weight of this. So if there was like a full drink in here, it would barely be hanging on and I would be afraid of it just like falling off. So I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit more. It might just be one of those things where once I'm in the scenario and have the things that I'm worried about, maybe it would, I don't know. If you know what I'm saying, then you get it. But like it might just have to be one of those things that I play around with while we're there and dealing with the, the problem. So I, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Moving on from that, um, I don't know if I showed this. This just hangs here like that. So it's really, it, that's just how it is. <laughs> it's fine. It works great like that. I will have it a little more full. So it will be a little bit bulky because right now it's not, it doesn't have anything inside of it. But it, I've had it in the past summers and on our vacations in the past and it works fine. It's not, it's not in the way or anything like that. And then my diaper bag is down here. So this is one of those diaper bags that is by Petunia Pickle Bottom. I do have another review over this. So if you want to look at the review, like I said, I will be showing you how I will be assembling it and things like that for travel because um, I'm going to be packing it for more so the airport than anything. But we'll also have all the things we'll need for parks and things like that later on as well. So I will show you that. And my, I think that might be my next video. So if you're interested in that, but this is going to be left open. So there is a flap that I have tucked down back here so that I can ensure that it won't, sorry, my kiddo is passing by with a bag of chips, but I have it left open to ensure that I will be able to get into it. So that's probably what I will be doing. And then, you know, if I'm really that worried about it, whenever we're getting on a ride or whatever, I will just flip it closed. But I'm really not, I'm never usually that worried about it. So it is what it is. 
but I like to have it open so that if there's anything that we need, I don't have to like fuss with the flap and push it back. This does zip also, so that's not a big deal either. So that's that. And then real simple over here, this is the sippy leash that I was talking about. So it's clipped on now and it's secured. It might move back and forth, but you can tighten it if you feel like you really need to. And then the sippy or bottle or whatever will just be on here and it'll hang, but it won't fall off the stroller and roll into the crowd of people or, you know, whatever. So it is by the PB&J Baby brand. There's a bunch of different versions of this. I really like this one though, because it does have the grippy and I've never had a problem with it. Like I said, it's very well loved as you can see. <laughs> so we, we use it all the time. And actually, whenever I ordered this, I expected there to only be one. And it actually came in a pack of two. So this is our secondary one. The other one we used down so much that it, it, um, it had to get thrown away. So that's that. It's really a simple thing. I was expecting it to take more than this. But, you know, once we get there on the trip and, you know, all that, it, that kind of stuff does usually change. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention as well is that this bag, this diaper bag, can hang from my stroller bar. So it does have these little loops here that you just unhook and loop it around your stroller push bar and then you can clip it so it can hang. Um, if things go south with this, because I mean, look at this guy, he's in rough shape, but if things go bad with this and we end up having to just ditch it, I could just throw this away because it was really inexpensive and it's falling apart and then hang my diaper bag from this and use the cup holders that are on the side of my diaper bag because there's a lot of cup holders that come inside of this diaper bag as well. So that's also another possibility that we might end up using. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. Like I said, we'll just play it by ear. I will give a little bit of an update to this probably in my vlogs. If so, if you're interested to see just how well this works out for us, um, you can definitely follow us along there because I will be vlogging the entire trip. Also, if you're curious about this wagon or this stroller, I keep wanting to call it a wagon because we use our wagon all the time now. It is the Delaney Luxury. So like I said, this is purchased like a hand-me-down um, from Once Upon a Child because our daughter, we had already gotten rid of our old stroller. And so we needed a different stroller for her. And we didn't really want to buy anything crazy because we really only needed it for the vacation that we were going to go on. So all that to say, I don't know what brand this is by. It does say Recaro over here. So that might be the brand. I'm not sure. I do really like this stroller as far as using a stroller goes. Um, the only thing that I don't like is when we bought it, it came like this. So it does have a little buckle here with the side buckles, but there's like hooks here that I don't really understand. So I don't know, do with that with you will. I'm sure there's like instructions on how to properly fix the straps, but I don't, I'm not really all that worried about it. It's worked fine for us and it's all twisted up though. But anyways, that's that. So that is the kind of stroller it is. Yeah, it says Recaro down here as well. But that's probably how we plan on assembling the stroller. Um, like I said, it could change. <laughs> I've got people passing me by. My household's wild. Oh, one more thing I do plan on doing for travel itself, which all of this won't be going on the, the stroller until we are in Disney World. The only thing that we will have for actual traveling is my diaper bag and then the stroller itself. And then I also always keep an extra luggage tag. Um, this is from a past trip that we never ended up using. But um, I always fill this out and then attach it to our stroller. So for whatever reason, we got it separated from our stroller during transit or whatever, we it will find a way back to us eventually. <laughs> um, so that's a little, I don't know, piece of advice, I suppose. So that will also be on the stroller during traveling. Um, but I think that's just about it here. I'm sure this was a little bit of an unusual video, um, but I thought it is part of what I'm planning on doing to pre prepare for our vacation. 
like I said, we're 12 days away now, so it's really starting to creep up on me and I'm trying to get as many stuff, as many things that I can check off my list checked off. So I do have, like I said, my diaper bag, preparation, assembly, whatever you want to call that video. <laughs> Who knows what I'll end up naming it. Um, that is going to probably be next um, to be published. And then I also have um, the Preacher Puzzle, which is just going to be us preparing, <laughs> buying all the things, you know, doing all that. And then I will have my packing video. And then I think from that point on, it will just be trip vlogs. So Disney vlogs. So if you're interested in any of that, I suggest that you stick around. We would love to have you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.